Hello everyone, this is TCT BCD and welcome to another Katan video here on my channel. I'm playing the base game today and in this game I am in the second position. I'm noticing that there is very little ore available on this board. Also not a lot of wheat and brick either. But there is a decent amount of wood which is quite spread out all throughout and also some sheep available. Based on that I am actually leaning towards something like 6511. Grabbing the best wheat and brick for now. And then I would say red would go for something like 84 sorry 8510 693 8410 will all be picked up by red and blue and then maybe even something like 843 is picked up so when it comes back to me I will have the option of maybe something like 4311 which doesn't seem very strong yeah seems like I do not get a lot of uh, wood and sheep spots based on my predictions here but in any case, I think just going for 6511 seems completely fine. And I will point my road to the left. Pointing downwards, I don't think I will have any spot open. Pointing to the left, maybe there is something. And pointing to the right doesn't do anything for me. Like the 912 spot or the 9th sheep spot isn't something that I favor. So here as expected, red does go for 693. I think blue can go for something like 8510. There is a some there is some chance that I might have an option of going for something like 810 directly. Here I think red will go for something like 94 sorry 4 4311 or 834 seems very very strong. Let's see though. Yeah, blue does have a difficult choice, but I think blue can go for 8410, 8510, but then numbers are repeating lot of sheep, decent amount of wood. So maybe the wood port might be useful. And then red goes for 834. So I will have the option of going for something like 9411, which I don't completely dislike early on in the game. I should be able to get some trade for sheep. Noticing that everyone else has a lot of sheep production. Let's see now what blue does. Okay, it does go for 8410. And uh, wow, blue goes for 9411. So not a lot of wheat for blue. But then this gives me the option of going for something like 8510. Here maybe red would want to go for something like uh, 8310 because red went for 8510 himself. So red has a lot of wood playing with the wood port. I think that's a fine choice here. But now I can just go for 3411 and try and play a Orbi cheap game. Or else I can go for something like 834 with a very strong production. I will have the 3 to 1 port and the wheat port. What does black do? Yeah, I think black will be more than happy with 6311 increasing his overproduction. So maybe I should not let black get 6311 here. And if I have to do that, I have to go for something like 834. 
sorry uh, not 834 uh, 4311 yeah might not be the best move for me but um, then black goes for 611 12 and then plays with the 3 is to 1 port and the brick port which would be fine yeah but then still leaving uh, 6311 is very very bad so yeah i will just go for this option although i know it is not the best one here pointing to the left so that i can go for 84 or even for the beat port Yeah, so here my production is surely going to struggle early on in the game. I wouldn't mind if a few early 11s roll. I will be more than happy to do that. Getting a city on 3, 4, 11 would make sense. And now black can go for 6, 11, 12 or 8, 3. Depending on what he prefers. Like 8, 3 is... More sheep and wheat. Wow, actually black goes for 9, 10, 2. We'll point downwards and try and get a settlement on 6, 2, I think. So now if I get a little lucky with dev cards, if I get a road building, I can get a settlement on 6, 11, 12, 8, 4 and points to the left after that. I mean, not sure what is Black's plan here. Yeah, I would surely want a few 11s to roll. Okay, I, will, I might have accepted that, but let's see. Yeah, blue is... Blue would want to go for 3, 10, 11 here. Yeah, I mean, red is surely getting lucky with these early rolls of uh, eights and sixes. Finally, an 11. So now a 5 or a 11 basically gives me a city. I think I'll go for a 1 is to 2 here. A 1 is to 1 isn't going to help me in any way. Anything I do, I offer a 1 is to 2. Can't give up wheat here. I don't want to do a one is to one. Yeah, I think these are fine offers. Wow, accepts with black very quickly. I would have accepted this as well. Okay, so I'm very happy with those rolls. Hopefully no 7 is rolled, I think that will be very bad for me. And wow, as I say, I think maybe I jinxed it here. But it's like I don't have a choice, have to block. Uh, I mean 9 block is an easy choice, blocks everyone here. And I think early on I have to target red. It's not like I have much choice here, but let's see. Still a long way to go. Okay, so 
okay let's see if i get this trade i will accept it okay if blue just goes for a dev card i don't mind that here black will most likely block the three or okay solo blocks blue okay so basically black is fighting for the big port i would say which makes sense black does have better brick production than blue here Yeah. Mm. I mean, red has been. Uh, red does have a lot of production. Three, five, nine, six, eight. Yeah, ten, eleven, almost everything. Yeah, I mean, I cannot completely blame blue here. Yeah, I will surely accept this trade. Wood is a resource I don't produce, and getting two of it is surely a nice deal for me. Yeah, I don't want to give up my wood here. What should my next move be? I think building towards three four makes a little sense. Sorry, eight four. That would also increase my production. And although the wheat port seems enticing, I think for now, just getting to eight four would be a little better for me. Just get high production for now. Hopefully, I roll a seven. Instead, I roll a five. So yeah, I cannot do much here. I don't want to trade with red at all. Here, I think I'll just build a road and end my turn. Red here is having an easy game. It doesn't even build towards the wood port, which is a little surprising. But I think three to one port also makes sense with all the brick and sheep that he has. Okay, so black here most likely blocks the maybe the six wood or the eight wheat blocks the eleven. Wow. Let's see if I can get it for a sheep. Yeah, I don't need this trade here. Let's see. That the four is to one still gets a settlement. So yeah, good that I didn't go for that trade. This is a trade I can accept. So now, if a five rolls, I will get a settlement. Yeah, but then with these rolls, it is going to be difficult. Yeah, I think I'll just end my turn. I mean, I am not sure if red. Ha I mean, I did not pay attention, but yeah, I mean, if red had zero sources, then I don't don't blame black for this block. Yeah, 
here let's see i think red is should be the block okay blocks are 10 and targets red i, I mean blocks the three i don't mind that to be honest i still need a 11 or a 5 to roll yeah, these eights are not helping me at all Finally a 5 does roll, so now I will get my settlement. I think that was the first 5 of the game, or maybe the second. Now the 3 does hurt a little because I lose out on 2 ores. Okay, so now I, I cannot give up my board yet. Maybe I can do it for a trade like this and then just do a, okay trade with blue I don't mind that but blue here doesn't get a settlement so it is a little risky yeah let's see if I get a 1 is to 2 I will accept it or else I won't Yeah, shouldn't be trading with red at all here. Okay, so I think my only move here is to get a settlement. And do I end my turn with four, uh, five cards in hand? I don't think so. But then what do I do? Do I convert everything into an ore and then risk getting targeted it's not like i have a choice maybe i can offer a trade uh, i'm not sure if anybody wants sheep i mean sheep has been quite abundant on this board might even offer a one is to two i mean none of those trades do anything for me Yeah, I cannot help red get that settlement. So I think my best move here is to just get an over and end my turn. Hoping that a 11, couple of 11s roll or maybe a 5 rolls. That gives me a dev card. Let's see, red is thinking about something. I think red wants to plow uh, blue here or maybe change this plan because he's asking for ore. That said, I do think that blue is in a decent position here. I think for me my next position would be to just get a city on 5411 and try and get settlements sorry try and get dev cards your yeah, black might block the eight wheat and sorry eight sheep and target me and I, I mean if I lose my over it will be very very unfortunate actually it is blue who rolled a seven right so blue might still do the same thing I think Blocking the 8 sheep is the right move to do here. Might block the 10 brick and target red because red is, yeah, does do that. And if black has a knight, black can immediately just play it here and block the 3 over again. So I think this is fine. Black yeah, does play the knight, blocks the 11. Hopefully, doesn't target me. He is taking his time. And oh wow, he does steal my over there. So maybe I should have just held on to these cards. But at this point, I think blue is a little stronger. So 
I think it's targeting blue is fine. I get more sheep because an eight had rolled, but it's completely all right. I think the ten ore is a choice. Yeah, it does block the ten ore. Surely would like a couple of elevens this round. These eights and fours have been plenty. I mean, again, it's nobody wants any sheep in this game. So do I just convert all my sheep? But where do I even build a road? Because building towards 6.3 doesn't do much. It basically says that I am going to build the longest road and I will be targeted. So I don't want that to happen. On the other hand, I think at this point, just getting over is fine. Hoping that a five rolls. Okay, let's see if I get a one is to two here. I'll go for any one is to two now. But I don't think red is going to accept any of these trades. The reason why I'm okay, I do get a trade. I don't mind that at all. And the reason I was say, going to say for being a little greedy with uh, giving up my break is just because break and wood are not resources that help me too much. Here, if red has a road building, red can actually block me. Yeah, that is surely something that I should have thought about, but it's... I mean, I can, I don't mind that. If it was a misclick for, I mean, yeah. Now... I mean, fives and elevens haven't rolled a lot this game. So that is surely the reason why my hand feels a little stuck. Don't want to do a one is to two here and put myself over seven cards. Would rather just hope that a couple of elevens roll or maybe, I mean, couple of elevens are the best case scenario. A five would be fine as well. And yeah, now that blue has started popping dev cards, it is a little scary. Okay, so I do roll a seven. So red losing out on four cards is quite nice. And here, I think I'll just continue to target blue. I get sheep, so it doesn't help me in any way here. Yeah, I do feel a little stuck with these cards in hand. I don't think I'll be getting any trades either. Just, I think my best move here would be to just convert all my sheep into a, into a wheat and uh, here I think I'll just build a road towards 6, 3, or 6, um, 11, 12 and then end my turn. I think red plays the knight. Yeah, does play a knight and continues to block blue, I think. Yeah, does target blue. Okay, surely there have been more nines than fives. I would have preferred it the other way around. Yeah. 
Yeah, I haven't been able to make a lot of progress once I got a settlement. Let's see. Yeah, blue is not playing a knight. Okay, does play a knight. And I think will block the 8 wheat. Or maybe the 10 brick still. Yeah, does block the 10 brick. The only good thing is, although my numbers aren't rolling, which is a bad thing, but the but the good thing is that I am not being targeted a lot. So I am going under the radar a little. Which I would say is my only saving grace here, because... I mean, yeah, blue pops another dev card. And now black doesn't have a knight. So blue takes the largest army in the next turn, I would say, if blue has a knight. Here I am holding on to my cards just to get a city, whereas blue and black have been fighting to get the largest army but at this point i don't have any choice i get a vp i'm more than happy with that yeah so 10 helps blue quite a bit because blue has the wood port so four has rolled so that's a wheat yeah does build three roads i mean it was expected i did expect that but now i think my game plan cannot be sneakily taking the longest road gets a city so blue is clearly in the lead now i mean black keeps blocking blue but then Here, yeah, again, I cannot do anything. Yeah, I mean, blue will be able to get a couple of dev cards if because a 10 did roll and now a four, so maybe he can. I think he's yeah just go f just goes for a dev card yeah these nines and helping blue quite a bit here yeah maybe I can go for this trade it doesn't do anything for me but then it's Actually, I shouldn't because black could easily be on eight points here and he can get the get the longest road if he Yeah, he can get a settlement and maybe the, I wouldn't want to risk that so Now I think my only option is to go for another dev card here. I get another VP, which I don't mind actually. These VPs are nice. I think I'll just try and get a settlement towards the 3 to 1 port now and end my turn here. Let's see. Yeah, 
it is difficult to i mean with those nines and tens that have been rolling i think uh, black has had an easy game so far he has three unplayed dev cards and although blue is saying that he needs to fight for army i think it's a long shot Yeah, not sure what Red is thinking about. Maybe Red should have gone for six two, but then he doesn't get the longest road. Okay. Blue play the knight has to block. Black okay does that which is completely fine. Yeah, I would want to see the look at. The die count here because I don't think a uh, lots of eights, fours, nines, and tens. I think those were the only. Yeah, finally blocks the four. Although sixes have started rolling now, but I think it's just a little too late for me. Yeah, because I still cannot do anything with these cards in hand. Maybe red can help me out with a one is to one. Let's see if red doesn't accept it. I think I'll just have to end my turn. Yeah, I understand because sixes have been rolling. Red does have a lot of brick in hand, so getting more brick doesn't do anything. Seems like red is getting a city this turn. It does get a city. Finally, a five rolls. I think it's a little too late, though. I think that's just the third five of this entire game. Yeah, that ten might have just ended the game here. Okay, so black doesn't go for the longest road. So he, I don't think black has two VPs here, and he ends his turn. Wow. And here I am completely stuck with my cards. I think my only option is to just go for another dev card. I get a knight, which is yeah, it's whatever. I would have preferred if it was a VP, but um, or a monopoly. I think red here might just not be able to do anything. Yeah, build the road, and I think he ends his turn here. Oh, he gets a settlement. Really surprising because now elevens are way better for red. Plays a monopoly. Blue does get a few dev cards here, but um, still don't see how he is. At this point, I mean, any role. I mean, maybe I should have just gotten a city on six, five, eleven. That would have been better for me. Okay, so maybe black wins the game in the next turn or so.
Yeah, this doesn't do anything but uh, yeah and yeah the five is rolled so maybe the game lasts blue might be able to get the longer uh, the largest army here I'm still not sure what my best move is on my turn I think if uh, 5 is rolled I mean yeah I mean if an 11 is rolled I think I'll just go for a city here because getting a dev I will most likely get a knight which doesn't do anything to be honest black can play a monopoly on sheep I think that would be quite strong here yeah, there is absolutely nothing that I can do with these cards in hand. Yeah. Maybe, I think my best move here would be to just convert all my resources into a brick and build a road. But it's not like I can do anything. <laughs> this chart here is funny. <laughs> so blue might, I mean red can just go for a dev card. Okay, it doesn't get a VP. A 10 and now maybe blue is a serious contender, gets the largest army. Maybe blocks 11 here and I think that blocks 8, I don't mind that. And let's see. I think he will be able to get a settlement at the very least. And because the 10 rolled, maybe he can get a city as well. Not sure, I mean, 15 cards in hand, it does get the settlement. It's a city, so it doesn't have a VP here, which is surprising. Here, I mean, what can I do? It's either red or blue, and I think red i mean i think i have to target blue here i get wheat wow not the card i'm looking for luckily a nine is rolled so both red and black or oh sorry red and blue are affected I mean, off-late sixes have been popping off, which are helping red and black both at this point. I would say it is helping red a lot more than me. And not having any port is also hurting me quite a bit because most of the time I have been stuck with these cards in hand.
okay plays a monopoly on word so that's a good thing i don't lose out on anything at all Can't say I'm surprised. This is how my luck has been in this game. So here I think blocking blue is a better move. I get sheep, yeah, but not much that I can do about it. So red is now holding on to his cards trying to get a city soon will most likely block yeah 3 or 11 doesn't do much has to block the 8 i believe yeah so does block the 8 sheep i'll be surprised if he targets me okay yeah did take some time but uh, and if he was able to pull an over i think that uh, uh, that would be like the huge move huge for red i mean couple of eights roll there blue is very happy with that i mean I think blue wins the game here unless a se I think even a seven might not stop him okay plays a knight which is completely fine rules an eight but not enough sheep in the game to distribute I mean all he has to do is Try and pull a dev card, right? <laughs> Just being a little funny. <laughs> does roll finally <laughs> but now what is the best move for me i do not have any ports i think just going for two v two dev cards is fine yeah now i think red will win three and eight oh yeah, he wins the game here. Gets a city and yeah, that's just game over. So I would say a very, very poor game for me. Yeah. All those eights were very strong for everyone else. I was very dependent on threes and elevens. They did not happen at all in this game. Yeah, my resource coordination was very poor because I was not able to get any. Most of the time my hand was stuck with cards. 834 would have been a better move, but then black gets 6311. So that could have backfired anyway do let me know what do you think about this game i mean how else i mean red setup if you 
see he did not have any he had very little of wheat no ore to begin with only wood and but his numbers were quite nice for me my production was very dependent on sixes and fives and elevens to be honest which is just unfortunate i mean but it was it was a good game though i mean good bunch of people here and uh, yeah but another loss hopefully i can turn this back i believe my placement in this game was a mistake going for 6511 early on was not the right choice either 8510 or 8410 would have been better in hindsight i would say but then yeah it's hindsight is 2020 anyway uh, bye for now and see you again in the next video bye bye